The archive function was created to give high volume sites the ability to clean up their online AMS TAC databases. The practice of archiving your data is completely optional and only needs to be done if your database has enough data to cause your system to slow down. When data is archived, it still resides on your computer, but it no longer shows up in your current database. You can activate the archive and search through the data, and you can even recall data from the archive under special circumstances. Many users will find that archiving their data isn't necessary. For those of you who do need to archive data, it is important to understand how this process works. Before you archive your data, ensure that the archive setup is properly configured in the system setup. You will need to log into AMS TAC as an administrator in order to do this. To begin, select System, Setup, Archive Setup. The first field is a box for archive data to a primary. You would check this box if you're in a multi-system environment and are using a secondary AMS TAC machine that is mapped to a primary machine. Please check with your AMS TAC administrator for more details. Next, you want to set your desired archive path. This is where AMS TAC stores older data that has been archived according to your settings below. You will not normally need to change this setting. If changes are needed, click on the folder icon to the right of the field to navigate to the correct archive path. The permanent archive path is the location for saving your permanent archive data. This is where AMS TAC stores permanent archives that can be restored if needed. Most sites no longer create permanent archives, but this option is available for sites that have previously created permanent archives and may need to restore them. Next, you'll need to decide how many days data should age before moving it to the archive. If you choose to archive data after 15 days, then all data older than 15 days will be archived. Please note that data is not deleted from the database. It is simply moved from your current database to the location that you specified above. Again, not all users have a need to archive data with current hard disk sizes. You may also select to have AMS automatically archive data on a specific day of each month. This setting is optional. The last archive date is the date of your last archive. Now that your system has been set up to archive records, you are ready to begin moving older data to the archive location. To begin, select Data, Archive, Archive Records. From the Archive screen, select OK. This may take a moment while AMS TAC is archiving your data. Once the archive is complete, select Exit. Under Special Circumstances, you may need to recall your archive data back to the AMS TAC database. To do this, select Data, Archive, Recall from Archive. From the Recall Archive screen, you have different options to recall your data. You can select either online or permanent archive data. Make your selection and then click OK. You can then choose to recall data by a certain BLTCMD, date, or all data. Make your selection and then click OK. From the archive screen, select OK. This may take a moment as AMS recalls your archive data. Once you are finished, click Exit. Your archive data has been imported back into AMS TAC. You may also choose to activate or deactivate archive data in order to do research or print reports. To activate the archive, select Data, Archive, Activate, Deactivate Archive. You can select either online or permanent archive data. Make your selection and then click OK. A message will appear in the top corner of your screen that says Archive Files in Use. You may now use the search function to locate records and print reports. Please see the video on data searching for more details. Once you are finished, select Data Archive, Activate Deactivate Archive to deactivate the archive. The Archive Files in Use message will disappear. You will return to the AMS TAC main screen.